Welcome to my sculpture garden of DIY-ness. I'm Mark Clement and I have a show, it's called My Fix It Up Life, but I'm also a carpenter and I take that kind of seriously because my job sites are about me building stuff like shelter and things that don't fall down and stuff you like that you pay money for. But if you're doing DIY projects, also important, you only have so much time. You only have so much weekend and evenings to get your project done. So I'm here to tell you about the differences between two types of hardware. There's the conventional hardware, which is hard to use, doesn't make the world's greatest connection, and it takes a bunch of tools to do it. Or this, SPAX engineered power lag, which I'm gonna walk you through a few iterations back here to show you where I use them and where I think they make a better connection, save you time and money, and increase the quality of your projects. So what makes Spax Power Lags the ideal replacement for the conventional lag? Spax patented thread technology requires no pre-drilling and makes installation faster and easier. Unlike the conventional lag screw or carriage bolt, the built-on washer head design of Power Lags do not require a separate washer. They have superior tensile strength and pull-out values, so they make stronger, more reliable wood-to-wood -wood connections. Code recognized, so they have published test data to satisfy local building inspectors. And they cost less than conventional hardware and other structural lag screws. Whether you're a weekend DIYer or a professional contractor, SPAX power lags are easy to use and help ensure reliable wood-to-wood -wood connections in countless indoor and outdoor projects. And one great place to use them is if you're building a deck structure like this in your post to girder or beam connection. If you're using regular hardware like through bolts, you have to pre-drill, you need two drill bits, you need two drills, wrenches and stuff like that, or this. No pre-drilling, no extra tools, one impact driver, it's all go. And that's gonna draw that beam tight together, which is what you want, I love that. Coming up here, and I'll switch my bits out, guard post connections. These are notoriously frustrating and there are lots of different codes and applications, so you should always check, but if you do some blocking, and you can even do this in a repair scenario if your deck is older, instead of drilling a million holes, you do that instead. Let me take you over to a different DIY project, a raised garden planter. These are awesome. They're easy to build, but what ends up happening is you build this box and then you take like some deck screws or drywall screws and you end up making a flimsy connection right here because there's low surface area. The head on a power lag gives you high surface area, but the easy connection. That's faster than any carriage bolt I've ever installed in my life. Another great project, and a project that I love to do, are pergolas, or arbors in this case. And when you're talking about a pergola or an arbor, for me anyway, the beauty's in the details because while it's structural, it's also about the beauty. And these connections are important to not only get stable, and normally you'd use a carriage bolt or a through bolt here, which would have a big gnarly head and a cut washer on it on both sides. Well, I want that to disappear because I want the wood to tell the story, not the hardware. So instead of that traditional hardware, I'm gonna lock this together like it's welded with a power lag. And one thing I like to do here is go bottom right, top left, because if I come through from the other side, I do the same thing and it makes four sides of the square and the screws don't run into each other. Mm -hmm. 
no pre-drilling, no extra tools, solid connection. Now let me show you down here. We didn't just make these projects up for this, we actually used them to build our sets. We have low surface area to make this connection, but we need, to, need it to be stable way up high. That's a lot of leverage. We power lagged it, it's nice and stable, rock solid connection. Here, I got one more thing to show you, check this out. And it's our swing set A-frame. Again, you could bolt this, but the bolt heads would be proud. And down here especially, I don't want kids to be able to scrape and scratch themselves on a bolt head like that. So I want the connection to be flush, but I also want it to be tight. No pre-drilling, all coated. That's going to last. It's like this thing is welded together. SPAC's power lags are sold individually tagged, 25 and 50 piece contractor packs, and up to 500 piece bulk plastic pails. Power lags are available in quarter inch, 5 16 3 8 and half inch diameters, and up to 12 inches in length for both interior and exterior applications. Unlike most construction fasteners you'll find in the hardware aisle, SPAX fasteners are made proudly right here in the USA. You can get SPACs at leading home improvement centers. They're easy to find. You can find more information at SPACs.us and you can find more information about me at MyFixItUpLife.com. Wherever you go, I want to hear about your projects and I wish you awesome DIY success. We'll see you.